Peace, 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 peace. Today I want to talk about if the child is more the father or the mothers. Not that we need further division, but there's an element of what we are suffering in the black community, we can directly tie back to the family structure and the understanding of family. Okay? Let me give you some examples. When a woman has children, say she has two sons, they have two different fathers. You don't hear the term half brothers. You hear the term brother. That same woman that has the two sons that have two different fathers. Say one of them children, one of her son's father have another child by another woman. The woman refers to that child as the half brother or sister to her son that he fathered with her. Think about that. You almost never hear children referred to as half when they have the same mother. Right? But when the father has children, more than one child, you know, and by different women, his children are somehow the half brother and sister to the child that he fathered by the first woman. I mean, just really think about what I'm saying. This is something that we that we say. We participate in saying it. I've been guilty of saying it. But it's incorrect. Why is it incorrect? Because the child is more the fathers than the mothers. Let's look at it from a religious um, standpoint. Okay. Let's go to Matthew chapter 1 That first chapter It starts Abraham begat Isaac Isaac begat Jacob Now these children All of whom did not have The same uh, Father I mean same mother An example Abraham had Ishmael And he had Isaac You don't hear that term have. Whenever the two are referred to in, in scripture, they're brothers. Moses, on the other hand, had a brother by the name of Aaron, an older half brother. By way of his mother. And he is regarded as Moses' half brother. Think about that. Think about that. Now, let's step out the scripture. Let's go into biology. Let's look at the, the human body, the design, right, of us. When sperm enters the womb of the woman, the sperm is alive. It's in motion. So it's alive. It has an objective. It has an aim. It has a purpose. Purpose being fertilize that egg, pull out of that egg the material in it, but it goes a step further. Spark life, essence life, give start to life. Life starts with the sperm. Sperm comes from the man. 
the fact that you are breathing is because of the sperm, the essence of your life, the essence of all life. The energy. See, the sperm is alive. This is the point I'm trying to get y'all to understand. You can't look at this from any emo. You can't look at this with emotions. This is not a him versus her type thing. I don't deal with that. It's going to take all of us. Man, woman, gay, straight, light skin, dark skin. It's going to take all of us to get right. But we have to deal with truth. And we have to order truth. And walk in truth. If we're going to be successful. Right? Now the sperm is alive. The egg isn't alive. The sperm is alive. The fact that you are alive and I am alive is because the sperm was alive. So the sperm essence life. So life then starts with the father. So the child is more the father's than the mother's. How can then a father father children with different women and you call those children half? They're not half. The essence of life is the same. Get what I'm saying? The point of origin is the same. Though they have different wounds. The point of origin is absolutely the same. This is why. You can, you can grow up with your brothers and sisters. That your mom gave birth to. And you love them, they love you. You may not have grown up with the children that your father fathered with different women. But I guarantee you, and some of you can bear me witness in the comment sections, once you met them, or you, you establish a relationship with them, I guarantee you, you have a better relationship with them than you have with the children that you were raised with. Why is that? Because your essence is the same. I'm going to do a part two. <laughs> this going to get heated. Leave your comments, your likes, your dislikes. I, I don't care. You can dislike what I say, but prove me wrong. Like, subscribe. Pass it along. Also hit that cash app. I got some merch coming for y'all too. So stay tuned. Peace.